hey guys it's your bob risky guys and i'd love to address you guys so i'm going to start from anuba gifts who is anuba gifts anuba gifts she was the first person that started this whole tattoo drawing saga she lives in benin so i just saw like that day i just saw the whole internet that one lady drew Barbrisky at her back blah 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 and i tried to reach out to her to appreciate her efforts like oh thank you so much you i could have ignored but i felt let me just appreciate her and i asked for a number i called her and i asked her to send me her account number which i sent her one million naira that same day so the following day she called me that she wanted to see me she wanted to come to lagos so she said she was coming to lagos the following day i thought i had to just hold on that she should come like four days after initially i don't want her to come to lagos because i know i've helped a lot of ungrateful people so i was really really scared her coming to lagos but because i have a good heart i want to miss this lady that drew my picture my face at her back that's okay let me meet her and before that she has called me that eh, she she's working at the restaurants and her salary was 30,000 naira 30,000 that's sorry that salary was 30,000 naira that they used to give her a job to cut paper that she, you know she's stressful she doesn't have a break at her job blah 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 okay, that's okay you know what come to Lagos let me meet you so she came to Lagos what she, so we agreed Anumba coming to Lagos the following day I bought her tickets I sent her the tickets so she was made to come the following day to Lagos but she could not arrive in Lagos because the flight cancelled their flight for that day we don't know the reason we don't know why so I said okay let's just wait till the next day then you can come to Lagos I was calling her are you okay sorry you're being delayed at the airport I was just showing care the third day this lady came to Lagos she came to meet me at a hotel because I remember I was at a hotel during that time I said okay I met her we hugged I said okay let me get you a room freshen up relax eat what you want to eat any food you want order any food you want to eat the second day when she came to Lagos I told my makeup artist Davi's home to make her up so she can look good so Davi's home did her makeup that following day after freshening up then she sat down we're talking because we're just talking and I was rubbing minds with her like okay tell me what's the problem with you she now said that she's going through lords blah 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 that way she's working a salary was 30 30 thousand naira that she's suffering that where she work they don't give her a break she work from monday to sunday even on like first festive period christmas sala that she still goes to work because she's a restaurant and her own job is for her to pick tomatoes she sends me the pictures and everything i felt so bad like okay what do you want to do she says she's not going back to benin that she wants to stay in lagos and work with me that she wants to be working with me as my peer that should help her then don't forget i already sent her one million euro don't forget guys i already sent a no buy gift one million euro before coming to lagos so after she pleaded that she wants to be my pa blah 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 that she's suffering and i said you know what remember i promised you three million euro on instagram that's tell me anything you want to do any business you want to go into she said she wanted to do hair business she wants to go into hair business so i'm like when you work a little bit in lagos you work for your money a little bit in lagos as my pa i'm going to give you some money you go and get an apartment in lagos since you don't want to go back to um benin anymore she said oh that's fine so she was living with me along the line i noticed that this girl is very lazy Anuba will wake up in the morning. She will not sweep. She won't even lay her own bed. She slept on in the guest room. 
guys, this girl is she's so dirty. Anuba is so dirty. Anuba will sleep on her on her own bed though, in the guest room. She won't sweep the room. She won't even wash her toilets. Anuba used one 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 towel for go two weeks. It was dirty. It was my house girl that came to tell me that, Ma, look at this towel. I say, Jesus. I called, I say, Anumba, are you this dirty? You use one towel to play your body for two weeks. See your room, smelling. It's not even looking good. You guys see my house now. I used to show my house on Instagram. You saw how my house is. I'm not a dirty person. So this story that I say, eh, you wash the legs. It's, it's just, it's rubbish. So I called her to order that my house girl blessing is my own house girl, not your house girl. You came here to come and walk, so clean your room, guys. I want Anuba that blessing is not your house help, blessing is my house help. I'm the one paying blessing, so blessing has no right to come and clean your room for you. Are you okay? Are you mad? So, because you are you are Anuba gifts, you drive a brisket at your back, I should come and help you and clean your room or my own house help. Her pain, she help you and clean your room. She won't cook, she won't do anything, she will she will wear pants. Normally, you're meant to wash your pants and spread it in the bedroom. But guys, Anuba will wash her own pants and go and spread it in the compound on the fence. You know, you are staying in a celebrity house, people come in every day, go in and out every day. They are seeing pants hanged on the fence. I was so upset. So I called her. I said, why would you put your own pants and hang it on the fence? They will come on Instagram and say, I am shouting. I will not shout. I will allow you to design my own house with pants. No, guys, listen with me. They will come to Instagram. My risky is harsh. My risky is... Uh, my risky will shout. My risky will throw you something. So you will come to my own house where I have visitors coming every day. And you will come and be hanging pants all over my compound. So I'll tell you, Anuba, oh, you do good. Oh, Anuba, thank you for drawing Babriski. I'll be feeding you, Fida. You are all mad. Let's continue. So I called her. That you, you should go and take that pants away from that place. So after I cautioned her about the pants, she went to take the pants away. So the following day, my husband was calling that. She called me and said, ah, eh, ma, these people are gossiping about you. That they are saying that Babriski shouts. We thought Babriski is she's a nice person, she's a calm person. Babriski is shouting, nagging, complaining. So we now went back to the hotel. That was the first day. I went to go and buy an iPhone, iPhone 12 Pro Max. I took out to Sophie Couture. I shopped 550000 That's not hollow. I said, you know what? Don't go back to the Bini again. Your Bini again. Stay in Lagos. I'm going to hook you up with people that will sign you, that will give you money, endorsements, so you can gather enough money and pay house in Lagos and be making small, small money from me. So one cream company, one cream brand signed her. So that was how she took the endorsement deal from the cream cream company they paid her four hundred thousand initially they paid her three hundred thousand i was the one that said lie lie she's my girl i will not allow you guys price her small you must add hundred k the cream the cream brand are watching this video the brand the cream that cream that signed anuba they are looking at this video they will know i am saying nothing but the truth that lady paid extra hundred thousand no to her to anuba gifts making four hundred now let's calculate it. Phone seven fifty. Hotel in the co hotel. We spent four days. Four hundred thousand. One million naira from the one I sent to you. Clothes from Sophie Couture five hundred and fifty thousand. Endorsement deal four hundred thousand, making three point one million. You are a bastard, Anuba. You are a foolish idiot. You, Anuba, that you are working. You are working in restaurants. They are paying you 30,000 every month. You're so lucky you got 3.1 million naira. You still have the God to open your mouth and say, battle about me. God will help me and slap you. It might not be now. It might not be tomorrow. 
it might not be next month it might not be next year but you will pay dearly god will show you and reveal himself to you if i've done bad to you you go on on gram posting me i, I can arrest you do you know that i can arrest you can i help i help oh? but i have leave all of you with your problem you are all you are all bunch of bunch of bananas bunch of keys you are all hopeless so i've i've left all of you i hand you to, i'm going to hand your matter to god a number so back to my story after i bought her all these things i was a number we use i stay in a duplex i stay in a five bedroom duplex a number will use 20 if i send a number errand to go downstairs and pick something from me a number will use 20 minutes 20 minutes to walk on the staircase She's so fat, so big, she's so lazy, she'll be sweating like Christmas ghosts. Sweating. I'll say, are you okay? Go and check your BP. So then I'm like, no. This one no be PO. This one, she's too big to even carry herself. Not to be somebody else PA. Let me just leave her. The following day she came to meet me um uh, i'm going to benin and uh, you know i finished from university of benin i was gonna collect my clearance <laughs> hey clearance this is shock me oh say she won't go benin go 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 don't go do clearance i say eh? ah from from where what school you go show me your your certificate show me your matric number what it be your matric number i know by gifts she said, eh, she doesn't have it offhand. She'll send it to me. I knew she was a bloody liar. And I also encouraged her to go. Because trust me, Babiski, you are nice, you are nice, you are nice. There's a limit now. I, I mean, a woman being. There's a limit to you being nice. You will never allow any idiot from nowhere to come and use your brain. For what? Oh, because I'm nice? Oh, you think I'll take your rubbish? I'll take your nonsense from you selling, being a pepper, pepper plugger or, or pepper cutter. How? It's terrible. So after this girl left, I was hearing a lot of, lot of nonsense gist. She has gossiped with my house girl. Blessing. She gossip and gossip and gossip and gossip. I felt so bad. Why? because i helped i helped with just my plain mind i don't know you from anywhere i can as well just ignore your tattoo who sent you a message who sent you a message to drop a brisket on your back or at your back anyone who sent you but i just ignored i still help you so i went i was so upset i went to block her she did not follow me oh now me go block her i blocked her everywhere whatsapp Instagram. So guys, this is the end of I know my gift though. And don't forget, God will judge you. Take care.